So I said, why not just do one today? So yeah, I went ahead and filmed this look. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Let me know if you guys have any requests, anything you want to see. Since Halloween is around the corner, let me know if you guys are interested in any type of Halloween tutorials because I would love to do some. So let me know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And if you're wondering how to get this look, go ahead and keep on so I went ahead and started by priming my eyes with MAC Lang Low. And then I also went ahead and set my eyes with uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. Now I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Tiki Hut. And look what just happened. I literally just dropped it. Such a tragedy. But yeah, we're going to go in with my... Uh, the, the, Tiki Hut by Makeup Geek and we're gonna put that in our crease and to do so I'm using a Morphe M505 and we're just gonna use this as our transition color and we're gonna take it all the way in so all the way from out and using kind of windshield wiper motions and a little bit of circular motions as well okay so now I'm gonna go in with the second transition color and this is also by makeup geek this is the color Coco bear and we're gonna go ahead and put that in the crease as well and with this I'm taking a morphe r38 brush this is from the rose gold collection and I actually signed up the way I got these actually is I signed up for the Morphe Me. I'll leave a link to it down below, but it's like a subscription. You pay $19 a month and you get $30 in Morphe brushes. So if you're really trying to like get more brushes and you want more Morphe brushes, it's a great way to do it. And honestly, like this is another really good brush that I'm in love with. And you just wanna blend that out. And we're just kind of putting that right under Tiki Hut a little bit more directly in the crease. And then what I'm gonna do is take this Morphe E20 brush and it has no product on it. And I'm just gonna go over some edges just to make sure everything is blended out. Now we're gonna take this color from the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. It's like a brownish color with like a little bit of a red undertone. And we're also gonna kind of pop that into the crease to start really defining it. And I'm gonna take my M139 brush to put that in the crease. So we're gonna start out, bring it all the way in. And we're kind of doing windshield wiper motions. Then on the same Morphe M139 brush, we're gonna take the color hot chocolate. We're gonna take the color hot chocolate. And this is a single eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is also in their self-made palette. I absolutely love this color. If you watch any of my tutorials, you know I use this color religiously. And we're just gonna kind of put that a little bit right under where we put that brown color from the Juvia's place there. Then I'm gonna go back in with Tiki Hut by Makeup Geek on a Morphe M38 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out. Just to make it sure we wanna just kinda of keep everything soft on the eyes cause most of the focus is gonna be on the lips and the eyeliner. So we're keeping the eyes extremely simple cause we're going for a nice big wing today. A big ol' wing! For the lid, I'm gonna take this extremely neutral color. This is also from the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. And we're gonna go ahead and put that all over our lids. 
Oh, that's really pretty. And it's so creamy. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Inglot 77 Gel Liner and a liner brush by BS Small. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. Wish me luck because I always, I can never, lining my eyes on camera, I'm always like out of frame. Which I know could probably be really annoying, so I apologize. Now I'm going to take it all the way into the inner corner. And like I said, I want the wing to be pretty thick today since the eye look is super simple. So I noticed the best way I like to use it, the um, ink lot is going and lining my eyes. And then I take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I go ahead and wing it out. Just because this has a little bit more of a precise line. And with gel liners, they tend to leave that little crack sometimes. And I'm just going to go over the gel liner that I put on there because I want to get the most color payoff as I can possibly get. And then what I like to do later on is just clean it up with concealer, but that's when I'm kind of highlighting it and when it's like nice and matte or nice and dry. And it sucks having wrinkly lids because gel liner, and this is like really good gel liner, but when it comes to my lids, it's just not having it. It's like, nah, nah girl. Let's pray, let's pray that we can get as nice of a wing or as half as decent of a wing as we got on this eye to get on this eye now. I think I hate about doing wings. They're so difficult. Especially when it comes to getting them even. When it comes to getting a wing even it's just so annoying. Like Amanda Insing says, they can smell fear. So high skirt! High skirt! And if your wing goes a little bit out of control, hey and that's okay. We're gonna clean it up with some concealer. Anyway, you feel me? Now I'm gonna go in and in water and line my upper lash line using this NYX crayon, and it's just in black. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Telescopic in carbon black, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. And I'm not gonna put too heavy of a coat on since. We're gonna put falsies on anyway. Now I'm gonna take a fresh pair of Coco Goddess lashes, and this is in the style Goddess, of course. Kind of wanted to keep it wispy and kind of flirty since we have a vicious wing. So we want to go ahead and keep that kind of style going. Like I said, it's not too much about the eyeshadow or anything like that. It's kind of on the liner, the lashes, and the lips. Probably gonna have to trim these. Why is it that these can now pretty much almost fit my eyes? Do I wanna do this? Do I wanna wear the goddesses? You know what? I think I'm gonna change my mind. And I think I'm gonna do my Cocos in Maryland. These are like my absolute favorites. My favorite, favorite, favorites in the whole wide world. So for some reason, when, before I put on lashes, I like to test them out on my eyes just to kind of see where I want to even place them and how I want to place them, it's like a test run. I just feel like it's a lot easier so that when you do put your lashes on, you can do like a one and done and you don't have to take them off, put them back on, take them off and put them back on. And I'm going to go in with the House of Lashes Lash Glue. This is in the black color since we have black liner, we might as well put this on just so that it'll blend a little bit better into the lash line. These Merlins are giving me a hard time today. Yep, I'm feeling that. Very much so. These are another like staple favorites of mine, honestly. Don't know what I'll do without them. If I were on an island and I have to pick a pair of lashes, those would be the ones. And they're only like seven bucks too. Now I'm going to go in and moisturize my face because I still have yet to do that. I'm going to moisturize my face using the e.l.f. Hydrating Moisturizer, the Daily Hydrating Moisturizer. I use this quite a lot and I absolutely love this stuff because it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy. And I already have oily skin so I don't need my skin feeling like super greasy at all. My edges are out to play me today. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with NYX Angel Veil and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. And I noticed that with this, it leaves like a white pad on my face, but that's okay, honestly. 
because I'm just going to cover it up with foundation anyway. Then I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 33. And this is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra or Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And this is in the color Y505. This one's a little too light for me. This one's a little too dark for me right now. So what I'm going to do is mix the two, and honestly, when I mix the two, I get a really nice coverage. And I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender to go ahead and blend that into the skin. Oh, my eyes so itchy. And I honestly love the consistency that I get with this. These two. And for some reason, this camera is picking me up to be super orange. Don't know why, but that's okay. It's not. I'm not this orange, like, oompa oompa. Cucumber drink break. Cucumber water is bomb. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this is in just like a peachy tone. And I'm gonna take this Morphe M429 brush and we're just gonna apply this under the eye. Now that we have the Under Eye Brightening Corrector under our eyes, I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and blend that out. Then I'm going to go in with the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the color Medium Dark Neutral on all the high points. With my concealer, I put some on the back of my hand and I clean up my wing on the sides as well. So then after I'm all done with that, I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender and blend this out. But I have honestly been loving this concealer. It's so full coverage. It's amazing balls. Now that we have us all highlighted, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and we're going to go ahead and bake under our eyes. And I'm just going to take a different beauty blender to pick up the powder with and put that under our eyes. And I really like to focus it around my nose because that's where I get the oiliest. Next what I really like to do, because I haven't, I don't let this bake for too long, I go in with my NC45 Studio Fix powder and I pump that all over my face where we didn't put the translucent powder. And then I wipe off all the excess powder as well with the same brush. And this is a Morphe M424 brush. It just makes my foundation look so much more flawless, I feel. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and contour. I'm gonna use my Morphe M401 brush and the True Match by L'Oreal in the color N8 just to kind of warm up the face. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Morphe M38 brush and we're gonna use this to contour our nose. I've been finding using smaller brushes like this makes it a lot easier for me to contour my nose. I'm gonna take it all the way up to the brow bone. And then what else I like to do is I actually learned this technique from I Love Sarah Ai on YouTube. I take the translucent powder and I just kind of put it on my nose just to one set it and kind of help blend it out as well. And I just kind of dust it off with the powder brush that I used to put the NC45 on my nose, on my face I mean, and it really softens everything up I feel. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. I'm going in with my R41 brush and I'm going right into hot chocolate. And we're just gonna put that on the lower lash line, look it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with that black liner from NYX and we're gonna line the waterline. Then I'm gonna take my pencil brush, it's the Morphe M431, and we're gonna go back in the color Tiki Hut. And we're gonna go ahead and put that under our eyes. Then I'm gonna go into my Anastasia That Glow. And I'm gonna take the golden bronze color here. And I'm gonna put this in the inner corner just to kind of brighten it up. And I'm also gonna take the color Conceited. And this is from the Artist Couture. And it's a very pigmented color. And I'm gonna also put that in the inner corner just because I didn't feel like that did what I wanted it to do. The Anastasia, that glow, didn't give me the glow that I really wanted. Yep, I'm feeling that. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And I'm going to coat the crap out of them. 
Okay, so on to the rest of the face. I still need to add some definition and contour. So what I'm gonna take now is my L'Oreal True Match and this is in the color C8. So it's a little bit deeper of a color. Then what I like to do is go back in with my Morphe M41 brush and take the two colors that I use, the L'Oreal True Match N8 and C8 and buff it out with this brush. So now on to my favorite part. Of course, we gotta glow and we must glow in the dark. That is key, glowing in the dark is key. So what I'm gonna take is my, I'm gonna go back into my glow kit by Anastasia here. And I'm gonna start off with this golden bronze color. And I'm gonna actually start by highlighting my nose. On the bridge of the nose, very lightly. This helps me get like a precise contour with my nose other than using like a really big brush. And I like to use this on the middle of my forehead too because honestly, like I said, I don't highlight a lot on the forehead everywhere else, so you can get it. Then I'm gonna go in with Bubble, Bubbly by Anastasia and the same glow kit and kind of go over it. I like to layer my highlights because I have a problem already when it comes to highlighting. A little bit obsessed. Today I'm gonna to actually use, this is actually a blush brush, but I find it better with highlighting. This is the Morphe M556 brush, and I'm gonna use this to highlight because I feel like it gets the highlight like I want it. And I want it to be super bronzy for this look. I'm gonna take that same Conceited color by Artist Couture, and I'm gonna use the Morphe M601 brush. It's so easy to pick up so much product on here because it's already so pigmented. Glow life. I just want to bathe in this. This is gorgeous. Do you see that highlight? Like that is on a whole nother level. Whole novel. No, no. Okay, so no for the lip color. So first I'm gonna go in with Toast by NYX. Then I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Seraphine. Seraphine? Probably saying that wrong. I'll leave it in the link below, just like the rest of the products though. I don't know how I feel about this color. I think what I'm gonna do is go in with ColourPop's LAX just to kind of darken this. Ugh. And then I went ahead and just sprayed myself with some Mario Badusco. Oh, it's messing up my foundation. I hate when I don't get a good spray. And that pretty much completes the look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy and want to see more talk throughs other than my voiceovers that I've been doing a lot lately. So I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Peace.